let's work with question seven now. So we spend 118 euros on two goods, X and Y. The utility is XY plus X. The price of X is 10. The price of Y is two. How much should we buy? So same thing. We set up our Lagrange and maximize it. So Lagrange is equal to our utility function, which we maximize X, Y plus X minus Lambda times our constraint. And let's write down our constraint so we know which it is. We have 10 times X, the price of X times the units of X plus the price of Y is two times Y is equal to the money, 118. So that's equal to 118. Okay, now um, let's do it. We write it over here. Let me change colors. So we got 10x plus 2y minus 118. What is the derivative of the Lagrange with respect to x? That should be 0. This one should be 0. So we got x is the variable, everything is a constant. So from the first term, x times y, derivative with respect to x, we have only y left, plus x derivative with respect to x is one, minus lambda times 10x derivative with respect to x, that's lambda times 10, and the rest are just constants, so this equals to zero. We do the same over here. Derivative of the Lagrange with respect to y, from the first term we have x times y derivative with respect to y, that's just x, x is a constant derivative is 0 minus lambda times this is a constant derivative is 0 and here we have 2y derivative with respect to y is just 2 so we have lambda times 2 and 118 is just a constant derivative is 0 okay let's see where we're going with this let's keep all the lambdas on the other side so we have y plus 1 equals to lambda times 10 and here we have x equals to lambda times 2 now we want to leave only lambda so let's um, let's divide something let's divide y plus 1 by 10 so that's gonna be equal to lambda and here x divided by 2 is gonna be equal to lambda now lambda equals to lambda so we can find the relationship between x and y we will have y plus 1 divided by 10 is equal to x divided by 2 if we do the cross product if we do the cross product let me change colors so we will have 10 times x equals to 2 times y plus 1 so 10 times x equals to 2y plus 2 which means that x which means that x is equal to 2y plus 2 divided by 10 and that's the same as actually I shouldn't have opened it but anyway I'll close it back just gonna be more comfortable to write it like that so 2 and 10 2 and 10 are gonna cancel out here we have a 5 so it's y plus 1 divided by 5 now recall that we have the budget constraint let me just zoom out to go to it and then we'll, we'll substitute it where was it here and somewhere here there it is 10x plus 2y equals to 118 uh, let's just write it below and we'll work here 10x plus 2y is equal to 118 yeah now let's substitute our x into the budget constraint so let me just uh, show it this x this is the x value we substitute it over here so we have now 10 times y plus 1 divided by 5 plus 2 times y is equal to 118 10 divided by 5 is just 2 so 2 and we have 2 times y plus 1 plus 2y is equal to 118 if we open the brackets we have 2y plus 2 plus another 2y is equal to 118 2y plus 2y that's 4y so 4y plus 2 is equal to 118 4y is equal to 116 so y is equal to just calculate that real quick 116 divided by 4 29 so y is equal to 29 that's the optimal consumption of y and now what's gonna be the optimal consumption of x well we can see that we take it from here that's 29 plus 1 divided by 5 
So the optimal consumption of X is 30 divided by 5, and that's just 6, and we are done.